Welcome back to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. This is another Photoshop Element 6 video tutorial. I'm your host Jack and what I wanted to show you today was just how we can use a color replacement to view things in a different uh, color. And I'm using a picture of my truck here just so we can kind of um, have something to work with. It's a solid color that we can displace to color and get an idea of what our uh, objects, people, um, basically objects, stationary objects, solid color objects, is very easy to change to color and get a different view of um, our items in a different color. Let's say I wanted to buy a new truck. I know I like Ford F-150s and I want to displace the color because maybe I don't want to buy another red truck. So I want to get an idea of different color trucks before I go to the lot and start looking. So here we go. Here's a picture of my truck. It's opened in the full editor. I made a backup copy. I made a duplicate copy of my background, which is the truck. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Enhance, Adjust Color, and we're going to replace the color. Then we get this little replacement color window right here. What we're going to do now is the eyedropper is selected. We're going to pick what we want to replace the color on. And as you can see here, it has a good bit of the truck. Now here's a trick that I want to show you to get the whole truck in basically the picture so we can start replacing the color just on the truck and not touch the background. What you need to do is change where it says fuzziness. We're going to just pull this up until the whole truck is basically white, or as best we can get it without lighting up the background. So you don't want the background coming up. You just want the truck coming up the best we can without getting the background. Once you have that, now we can start playing with the replacement colors, the hue, the saturation, and the lightness. Let's take the hue and just start running it down. Look at the color of the truck changing. There's a purple color. The saturation, now we can make it darker or lighter. It's a little darker. There's a little deeper color purple. The lightness, same way, we can bring it down darker or we can lighten it up. And you get an idea of different colors schemes for a truck to see what it would look like. I don't think I'd ever buy a purple truck. Now blue, we can, like I said, turn the saturation up and down and play with that a little bit. And then that lightness, you want to make it a little darker. It's almost like a till color. Now if you want to play with other colors, just click on the result here. And you have your color palette. You can move this up and down. And as you can see under this, the truck is now changing based on our color palette. Move it down more. There's the red that we initially had. There's more of a deep blue color, which looks pretty good for a truck. It's more of a purple. Here's a pink for the women out there that may want to have a pink truck. There's even a little bit more pink right there. Then once again, you can play with your hue and saturation and make your colors a little bit different. A little bit yellow. There's a green truck. Well, you get the general idea. It's very simple to do. Then when you go to the, the dealer and you get your best color set up, you can go to the dealer and actually tell them that that's the truck you want to buy. You know, Ford F-150s, the body styles are the body style, so... All you're doing is playing with the color and you're trying to find the best color that's going to make you really happy. Well, that's a really short tutorial on changing color and that's how the replacement color works. And you could do that replacement color basically on, like I said, any solid color it really, really works well on. Once again, I'm your host Jack. Thanks to everybody for watching the video tutorials. And don't forget to stop by the website jackstechcorner.com and drop a little donation in the PayPal donation bucket. It really helps out with the web hosting fees 
and it helps out to get these videos up and on the air for you so we can learn more. And I'm still waiting to try to get a hold of the Adobe Photoshop Element 7 um, so I can start playing around with it. I kind of wait for the trial version to come out before I actually buy it. Um, just to start playing around with it, learning the enhancements, and then I'll purchase it and we'll move on. So until next time, keep those cameras clicking and keep the editors editing. I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.